What's up guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today we are installing the Boost Auto Parts rear view mirrors, tow mirrors. We got here the LED switchbacks. Um, we got the floodlights on the reverse and cargo. And obviously the integrated blinkers, which none of these features my truck currently has now. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and remove the two screws that are inside of here. There's one behind the door handle, and then there's two down at the very bottom. I'm gonna remove this entire door. Actually, gotta pull this little plate off as well too, um, to get access to pretty much the wiring and everything that's back here. And then we can slide this panel off and get the rest going. Let's go. the least amount possible whenever doing anything to any vehicle so um, typically you would disconnect the door handles ability to open but I've just kind of left it here obviously using the boost auto parts box to kind of just keep it up in the air so it's not keeping tension on it the door has been dismantled I'm going ahead and removing the top trimming not really going to completely remove it just peeling it off enough where I can access the screws for the factory mirror and the wiring and start removing the wiring and go from there. You do have to remove the factory speaker just so you can uh, reroute some of the cables and stuff like that um, and put in your new wiring harness. So we're gonna get to those things in just a moment. Um, and yeah, let's wrap this thing up. So the tow mirror is actually in place already. Um, my factory mirrors were only a three screw mirror. This takes four. So you do have to drill in the plate here. It pretty much lines up perfectly. There's already slots like pre-marked for the drilling that I had to drill here to get the uh, the four, four screws to line up. So that's in place, everything is locked in. Now I'm gonna start working on the wiring part, which is obviously the most complicated part. So I'm gonna take my time on this one um, just because I am no wiring expert. day all right so I know it says one day later but it's actually about 30 days later maybe even 35 to 40 days later I've had the mirrors up on the truck now for some time I wanted to make the, the clip like right after but unfortunately I had some uh, some issues with one, I wanted the truck to actually be clean when I showed it, but I live in South Florida, it's in the middle of summer, it rains every single day, and with 12 wides, it just flings all the dirt up on the side, I can't keep it cleaner longer than a couple hours. Um, mirrors are absolutely gorgeous. Um, I opted for the high output uh, reverse floods on the actual other side of the mirror, and let me just say, those things are freaking bright, like probably could have gone with the low output, and probably still appreciated the backing up and just the overall lighting behind the vehicle. But I did go with a high output thinking it wasn't gonna be very high. It is, it is insane. It's actually a little bit blinding when you actually activate the vehicle and come around the mirror to actually uh, get in the truck. If that light's on, it's gonna slap you in the face. But I absolutely love the mirrors. One recommendation I will make. I was a bit impatient. Um, I did get the option with the paint to match mirror caps, but um, I'm in the process of getting my front bumper painted, a couple other things, so I wanted to kind of bundle up a couple things before sending it in the paint. So I did order eBay paint to match mirror caps on there. I do have the Boost Auto ones that I have not yet get pa got painted. Um, the eBay ones, pure trash. My passenger side one wants to pretty, fall off the truck pretty much three out of the five times you drive the truck, so I gotta be constantly realigning it, putting it back on. It unclips itself from time to time, so you know, if you are going to get the paint to match set up, just go ahead and get the body shop to paint them sooner rather than later. I definitely didn't want to run them without any caps. So, um, those caps are still the eBay ones. In a couple weeks, I'll get the actual other ones painted and put on there. But I freaking love it. I love these big old mirrors. Um, it looks great. It's great for towing. The reverse is amazing on it. Um, and I can't say anything more about Boost Auto. I did have 
some issues with uh, not necessarily the wiring, but uh, when I initially tried to do the reverse light uh, BCM uh, bridging, um, I lost actual cab lights and I lost the reverse lights. And it was what we thought at that time was an actual truck issue, when in reality it was just actually an issue with a passenger door. When trying to mount the door back on, I actually pinched one of the wires, which caused a, a semi short there and kind of blew a fuse. But I got on the phone with Boost Auto and they were quick to try to help us identify what the issues were with the installation. Um, so I love those guys. Um, I wish they had more of the things that I can buy from my truck. But they don't necessarily have anything else that I would really use right now. But definitely if you're going to get some tow mirrors, check out Boost Auto. They're the way to go. The OEM ones are cool and stuff, but the LED switchbacks are just phenomenal. Um, those high output floods are fantastic. Um, and then obviously the paint to match features and all that are just fantastic. So. Check it out guys. Thanks for watching if you made it this far. Sorry it took me so long to make this video. I'm gonna try to make more frequent content, but there's not a whole lot going on with the truck right now. I'll try to see what other content I can diversify, maybe go a little bit more into details of all the changes that are actually on uh, the truck. So if you made it this far, like, smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all later.